Well, in just six days, the city of Royal Oak will be taken over by hundreds of musicians, plus tons of artists and restaurants for arts, beats and eats, of course. And this morning, we have some of the people responsible for the signature Metro Detroit Festival here with us to give us a preview of this year's event. Thank you so much for being with us, John. Nice to see you. We got you. John Witz and Cheston from Detroit Shirt Company. Arts, beats and eats, so much fun. Let's start talking about the food. Sure. Oh, my goodness. There's so much to choose from. Those food trucks are pretty incredible. Well, you know, it's interesting. Interesting. We went without food trucks for a while, but we have right. a lot this year. Imperial food truck is new. We have a Greek food truck uh, joining us, a barbecue food truck. We have Beagle Laura here. So uh, Famous Dave's is here. So the, mm -hmm. there is a lot in that department. And we've got some great new restaurants as well. Eddie V's is here, uh -huh. Narachi uh, uh, Grill, which is new as well. Uh, Sedona Tap House is coming back, Cafe Muse. The food yep. is going to be amazing as always. I love the vibe. You have hundreds of people there. They're just jamming, eating, having a great time. you got a pretty incredible lineup this year as well. We do. Uh, I'll just run through it fast. Yeah. Uh, Gin Blossoms, 38 Special, Everclear are all Friday night. Uh, we're so excited about them. Eddie Money, The Spinners, Rival Sons are Saturday. AWOL Nation is coming, which is our biggest band of the weekend. Uh, more younger generation, <laughs> but they're going to be rocking it out. Ben Folds will be here. Chris Jansen for country fans. Matt Nathanson. It's going to be an amazing lineup for well, sure. I remember being there last year and you were taking us around to see all of you know the backstage look and it's just pretty incredible how quickly you put this show together it, it is we have 36 hours to build out most wow. of Royal Oak a little longer for the stage so it's like building a city uh, almost 800 partners from artists and vendors and uh, electricians and so forth so it is something else uh, you know if you did a video of uh, yeah. it coming up it would be an interesting uh, situation and talking about a lot of partners and vendors Cheston I love anything that says Detroit on it talk to me about some of this merch it is so unique yeah absolutely so we have uh, a wide assortment of different things we have our glassware sets we have uh, hats we actually have um, our specific arts beats and eats wear so we have our hats hoodies t-shirts um, children's items such as the uh, kids tees the bibs um, we also do the uh, shot glasses and uh, whiskey glasses. We have custom made candles uh, with um, a partner up in Goodrich, Michigan. Uh -huh. And koozies, uh, recycled tire coasters, so we try to be wow. eco-friendly as well. Absolutely. So I can't get over that bib. Yeah. <laughs> that is so unique. And I was taking a closer look at this sweater over here. This is just awesome. You see Arts, Beats, and Eats right there. It just reminds me of the Dream Cruise a little bit. Absolutely. So it's just kind of throwing into everything that Detroit's like representing, you know, which is music. Yep cars, fun, the food, definitely. And John, just real quick, if people want to participate, they want to get involved, they want to join, how, how, how can they do this? How sure. I, I, so one thing you can do is stop by Flagstar Bank okay. uh, and bring three cans of food at selected branches on our website. You'll get a free admission. Okay. But it is local for free Friday, so you get in free before five on Friday. Three dollars before three for the rest of the weekend, so great value there. Parking is all over downtown mm -hmm. Royal Oak, and uh, it's all on, uh, you know, click on Detroit. It's on our website. <laughs> Website. And I want to thank the Detroit Shirt Company. If we talk about getting involved, they donate shirts for our volunteers. We have oh, wow. a, uh, a recycling program that they support and all of the festival volunteers. And hopefully over the weekend, we'll raise about $300,000 for 60 nonprofits. And that Flagstar program cool. supports Gleaners Food Bank as well. So. Well, thank you so much for the work that you're doing and for being here yes. early with us this morning.